Thanks for joining us. We're getting it right into this video right away, guys. We've got a lot to do today, so put these guys to work. Caught me off guard there. I guess we are getting Thanks it. for joining <laughs> us. Uh, we're doing steak Diane with a nice creamy mushroom sauce. Uh, and to go along with that, Nate's famous, and I do mean famous because he makes the best mashed potatoes of anybody I've ever known. You know? And I'm not just saying that. The last thing I want to do is boost him up, I promise. So who, but he is a very good mashed potato guy. Who the makes sacred. the best sliced potato? You do, Jeff. Camp, camp potatoes. <laughs> of course, that's you, Jeff. There's nobody else. I've seen you fall in love over and over every time you make it. <laughs> but anyway. Um, he does get misty-eyed. He, he does. He'll swear to God, we got to get one of those like slow motion with love all around yeah. his eyes. <laughs> a little anyway. crying in the background. But uh, yeah, and, and I'm not kidding when I say Nate's uh, mashed potatoes. Uh, he, he's made them over the years. He's perfected it and is worthy of going in the video. And I do want him to tell you step by step what he's doing. Dude, uh, that's a family secret. <laughs> it needs to be shared, it's that good. <laughs> so I'm just seasoning up right now. I bought some flat iron steaks. We got three of them. I'm gonna sear those off in the griddle. We'll show you that when we get out there. Jeff's cutting up some mushrooms. Those are baby bellas. Yep. Did you say what we're cooking yet? Yeah, steak the hand. Are you not oh. listening? I might have been working. Somebody <laughs> told me to work. <laughs> We got, a, we got white onion right there. Usually the recipe calls for shallots, but my market did not have any. What's the parsley for? Uh, that's for after the end. We'll just add a little parsley oh. for a little color. Nate, you want to start telling us about your famous yeah, mashed potatoes? Lots of butter, lots of uh, salt and pepper, and that's about it. So what is the, <laughs> what is the secret? There is a secret. Now I, uh, so I cube them up about yay big after, after washing them. And uh, as I, I start them in cold water with a healthy dose of chicken bouillon in the water, a lot of salt and pepper in the water. And then I actually overcook them a little bit. And then uh, when it comes time to mash them, I use cream, chicken stock, and I actually put chicken bouillon directly into the, the mashed potatoes. That makes a difference. That's so it sort of difference. brings up that umami flavor and a lot of black pepper. I keep adding pepper until you can see the pepper in the Ooh. potato. So you get like a, just gives you a stronger flavor. It's not so bland. Yep. And then I just whip the ever living heck out of them. At home, I use a. Do you have a power hand mixer? I do. Oh, so we'll probably use that and just keep whipping them probably and whipping from them. 1985. That's fine. <laughs> so yeah, you just keep whipping them and whipping them until they get like super it. smooth and buttery and well seasoned, and they kind of taste. I don't know, kind of like uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken used to make their mashed potatoes. Yeah, they did. They, you know? it, I would say yeah, they're whipped. You, it's oh, all yeah, they're whipped. They're, they're whipped. definitely whipped. They're super smooth and, and heavily seasoned. Yeah, no and clumps buttery. at all. Not, it, it, what is there not to like? Oh, so good. <laughs> right? We got butter, we got seasoning, and we got carbohydrates. Yeah. So yeah, that's the secret. Good. So we're going to get those boiling, right? Steak, all ready to go. We just salted, peppered, did a little banditos. Tony, thank you, my man. I'm actually getting ready and running out. I'm going to have to yeah, order some. Yeah, up too. Um, but, uh, and I added a little extra pepper for a little bit more pepper on the steaks. So we're gonna chop up, get this going, and we'll be back. Steak Diane! <laughs> and there goes my left ear drum. Where's your pepper mill here? All right, so the magic sauce, the uh, mushroom cream sauce. The magic sauce. Magic sauce. <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick little mix of that. You could measure, but I don't. Don't typically. I'm do about, I don't know, about a half a cup or so. Heavy cream, so. <laughs> Maybe a little more. You mm. know, you guys gave me a hard time the other week for uh, not using my measuring cup. He's using a measuring cup and he's just not looking at it. Exactly. Yeah. He did that last time too with the cauliflower. Probably about a half a cup of beef broth. Chicken. Beef broth. <laughs> it is beef broth. <laughs> a couple splashes of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I've already bought a tablespoon, two tablespoons. And then, can you please pass the grape? I love Dijon mustard. <laughs> Dijon, oh, I'm gonna do two heavy spoonfuls. Two and a half. You whisk. That's it. Try add a little salt and pepper later on. Does that get cooked on the grill? Yeah. Oh, okay. We're gonna try. Right. It's supposed to. <laughs> so, curdled uh, cheese coming up and... Uh... No, 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 this is beautiful. <laughs> and we are good to go. Potatoes are on high, guys. Just gonna bring them to a simmer, then turn them down so they get nice and soft. We can actually head out to the grill. I gotta mince my garlic. No. What, are you, what the hell, Jeff? Slacker, so get on that. Hey, we're gonna be here all night. Keep waiting for him. 
Start to see a trend here, Chris. Start to see a trend. Oh, he wanted, I know, he wanted to, yeah, Jeff, we'll even, look at that, just for you. Now we're there, we have it on film, we cut you off the tip of his finger. This knife, I love this knife, I really do. You've been practicing? You got one comment about how good his knife skills are, and now he thinks he's the man. Look at him. All night, just going, <laughs> all night. One comment, and he had to go out and buy a whole new set of bigger hats. <laughs> Time to seal the steaks. Let's also, I got some canola oil I'm actually using. And you'll notice that I have it coming down this way. You'll see why later. It's for the sauce that we're gonna make. I'm gonna try to do it. Normally you would do it in a pan. We'll try to make the griddle work. There you go. Nice and hot. And Nate, I'm gonna ask you to get your timer going, please. I'm gonna do it two minutes aside. Sounds good. And then remove them. Okay, Google. Set a timer for two minutes. Two minutes, starting now. Yeah, so I was up in Maine. And uh, it's a little, like, like a quarter of that. It's 22 bucks. Wow. I was happy with the price on these. I love this. And I'm not usually happy. <laughs> so a lot of people argue that uh, flat iron is as tender as the filet. Really? Yeah. I personally like the flavor way better than filet. More beef? More beef. And it is a nice, soft texture. It's got great marbling, for sure. But cheaper windshield wipers than you had before? These are? Yeah. Rain X, aren't they? Yeah. What did they have before? He had the single bar. Wow. Timer just went off, two minutes. We'll take a uh, quick peek under here. We'll start with this one. So you stick it, you're doing two minutes per side and that's it? That's it. It's gonna be, gonna be pretty rare. You intentionally well, trying no, no, to hide no. that it's going, They're going back on after. But yeah, that's a nice, yeah. What was that, Jeff? I was asking if you were intentionally hiding those from us. <laughs> hiding what? The cook side, the cook side. Sorry. Nice. Nate, two more minutes, two more, two more minutes, minutes, please. Yeah. Okay, Google. And yeah. Okay, Google. It will be pretty rare. No, two minutes. Set but they're the going timer back for two minutes. Just a little zero. Two minutes, starting now. All right, these bad boys were a little thicker than uh, your average bear. Than your average bear. <laughs> uh, left it on for at least another three minutes. Got a nice year though, both sides. Nice color. Yeah, yeah and a good color. So we're gonna take them off, let them you sit. You want to tent them inside? Um, yeah, oh, you you actually, right. we're gonna leave them out here, David. You can just pull, huh? pull them out. Yep. All right. Hey, get oh, out of here. Jesus, Jeff, what the hell? <laughs> Sorry, I had to do at least once. <laughs> the prep work behind the scenes. How are we gonna get these potatoes uh, this is, ready to go? <laughs> this is Nate's plan on how to dirty one less thing. Right? <laughs> I'm going all the way over, lay it down. It's really tough to get in between you two big fellas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I throw these back on the, uh, the burner, even though it's off, to let that heat sort of steam out some of that extra water. And yes, Chris, there is a little bit of butter. A lot of butter. Jeff, we needed to get you a brick of butter. <laughs> the butter, so, butter brick. The butter brick. I'm gonna start with that. What are you doing, and, two uh, full sticks so far? That's two full sticks, yeah. I'll probably add in more. So I don't go right to the mixer, I start with a masher. If you go right to the mixer, I find you end up with more lumps. So I kind of give them a real good mashing. 10 bucks you go right through his cooktop. <laughs> yeah, it's don't possible. smash it, don't <laughs> smash my glass. Try to get, as, get them as smooth as you can this way. I, you know, I've actually never mashed on a glass cooktop. I don't even think of that. Yeah, too. be careful. <laughs> Glad you said that. I'm due, yeah, for an I mean, I'm due for an upgrade, so maybe go ahead and break it. Hey, so I'm going to tell you, already, I'm going with another stick of butter. You, just by feel? Just by look. You can feel, or, or is it look? Just by look. <laughs> so I'll throw that guy in there. Wow, three sticks of butter. That's a stick right. each for the griddle guys. So we're up to 50-50 ratio. A stick of butter so, each. I'm going to do a quarter can of chicken stock, a little heavy cream, and Jeff, grab me a pack of that chicken bouillon. So it looks like a lot of liquid, and I guess it is, but... Do you mind if I put this on a finer grind, Chris? Uh, yeah, go ahead. One pack, Nate? In? Yeah, dump one pack in. Wow, these are really tiny. Yeah, just dump it. It's all getting mixed. And then we go to the hand mixer. So, and you try to do that as little as possible, Nate, or? No, I'm doing like, a lot. Oh, you do? And I move it around like this, so you're kind of whipping with your hand and whipping with the beaters. So you get all the air in. So I can tell you right now, when I look at this, right? Yeah. I don't see enough pepper. So Jeff, you want to grab a pepper and? Yep. I want to see the specs. The specs of pepper yeah. in there. All right, that's probably good. <laughs> Is 
All right. Grab a little fork, see how those taste. You had your peripheral vision working there, Jeff, huh? Oh yeah, they're getting there. A little bit more salt. Throw some more uh, bouillon in, Jeff, another packet. Wow. Told you, they're heavily seasoned. Wow, there they are. Oh, hey, now we know why they taste so good. They go with a touch more cream. Just to whip them up a little bit more. Yeah, see, you know what? I, I, I must do things wrong, because when I whip anything that much, it gets pasty. Yeah, no, these always got pasty on me. Nice and light and fluffy. More butter. Yeah, more butter. What is the answer? <laughs> Those are good. All right, nice. Try anyone? Uh, that looks pretty good. You can check them in the oven, keep them warm. Yep, we'll do that. Back out to the garage. Thank you, Nate. Can't not get me to work, right? You gotta work. I said oil then, buddy. You already messed up. Never mind. Never butter. mind. Cut. No, not only that, but it's gonna, <laughs> it might take them longer. <laughs> we got some butter. Simple, simple, simple instructions. Some oil. Time to throw the mushrooms down. Well, Nate, why don't you tell them about your, uh, your little problem today? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Nate came to my house hey, all the time. Hey, listen, all, all I'm, I'm still pissed off. If any of you guys work for Comcast and can assist in setting up bridge mode in the gateway and a Netgear Nighthawk router, uh, I, it, if you know that information, worth its weight in gold. Because for three days now, I have not had internet for more than 15 minutes. I've never seen him come to a cook so upset before. Oh my God. <laughs> That's 15 phone calls to Comcast. Yeah. Guys, while you're here also, if you haven't done it already, please hit that like button. Yeah, if you made it this far, you must like us a little bit. Yeah. Even if you, I got a better one. Even if you never plan on watching another one of our videos, hit subscribe anyway. Yeah, why not? He's doing us a favor. It doesn't cost you anything. We'd appreciate it. All right, so how long do we go with these, Chris? Well, well, you kind of want to get them all as flat as possible, Jeff. Right. I should have told you that. Just let them get a little brown on, on, to... e on each side. I wanted to get them all coated a little bit. Are we gonna do any salt and pepper on these or? No, no, no need right now. All right. Flatten them out. Flatten them out. Flatten them out. Come on, SpongeBob, you can do it. Done. Done. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, well, Jeff is gonna have the uh, garlic and the onions. How many cloves of garlics? Not enough. 27, 28, <laughs> 27. somewhere in that yeah. neighborhood. Don't worry about it. We'll say about eight cloves of garlic. No, it wasn't that many, was it? Yeah. yeah. Don't worry, it'll be good. Just want to give a shout out. We're going to be using this in a couple minutes. Jesus, watch where you, you pointed at Jeff. To Grill Blazer, uh, we do have a link down below in the description. You save 10% if you want to order through the griddle, guys. Very happy with this right now. Great We're company, too. Quite a bit. It's a fun toy. Great company. And a great conversation starter at your local barbecue. Absolutely, look at this thing. <laughs> you got to stop pointing at point Look at this thing. <laughs> What? What's the matter? Whack him in the face with it. <laughs> so, you got that thing ready to go? Yeah. You want to pull the brandy, Nate? Why don't you pull the brandy? Uh -huh. All right, Jeff, open up. That's nice. <laughs> Jeff, you stand in front of the griddle. Nate, you pour the brandy. <laughs> go ahead. Jeff, you just got to shield the garage door. You good? I'm good. good. Oh, more. You got to do it, yeah. More. Oh. There you go. Here we go. Grill blazer going down. I think I felt a little bass <laughs> when that thing was lit. Nice. I like it. it smells good. Gonna let that burn off. Fire. I'll catch fire, Jeff. Just want to try and get on the flavor. Still going. It smells oh, amazing. Good. Next right. up, the sauce. Who made the sauce? Who made the sauce? We'll be back with the sauce. This is amazing, Griddle Nation. Chris actually has a plan. <laughs> I am I'm shocked. Plan. <laughs> he just said it before we're we turned the camera on. We're gonna make this work. Now the time for the sauce. Jeff made a nice little smiley face. Yeah. And he's gonna mix this all together without losing any. <laughs> so normally this is in a pan. It's much, much easier because it actually stays in. Jeff's got a little fight here, but he's gonna mix it up the best he can so it soaks up that mushroom, that onion. Well, here's the, the thing. Le leaning it forward like this is making it perfect. Yeah, yeah, it is puddling nice. So that is good. It's got some nice color. The aroma is amazing. Yeah, and what we're gonna do, once this sits a little bit, cooks a little bit more, I'm gonna throw the steaks back on and finish cooking them up. Oh, look at that. That doesn't look bad. All right, so Jeff got this perfect for me. We're gonna throw these steaks right back on. Let these cook up again. We got a nice little, I don't know, simmer boil. What would you call that, Nate? Simmer boil sounds simmer about right. Boil. Um, got the heat turned up. We got the heat turned up. We are gonna let that cook. Get these steaks up to about what? 120-ish. We'll pull them off. 120, 122. It's your call, man. And then you then like, we're ready you to like go. Them rare. You guys like medium rare, right? 123, yeah. 125. Sure. Right around there. Looks real good. Can't wait to eat them. Stop it. 
So I'm guessing about right now, three, four minutes, we're doing this side, we'll flip them over, we'll make sure this is all over it, and then we'll take them inside to serve. Turn the heat down. So, trying to get that sauce all in there. Turn the heat down. It's a pretty involved cook for you, Chris. You like it though, don't you? I do, I'm impressed. Let's get all the stuff on there. You know how I like mushrooms and onions and steak. Nate, this is kind of right up my right alley. Right up your alley. And you and made brandy. Your and you made your potatoes for me? <laughs> it's even better. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna eat and then I'll go right to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect, that's what you do on Sundays. Guys, food coma in 15 minutes. Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> Just gonna do a quick little probe, see where we are. Do you need, need my eyes? Um, <laughs> no, I can actually see it. <laughs> We're at 118, so almost there. Nice. On that one. This one's got a little longer, it's at 110. So just about perfect for you. Nah. 110, 111. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna let this go for a little bit longer. Shut that down. Yep, got the burners on low. It is cool. cold out today. I think we're in the teens, right? Yep. So this one is done. It's already tipping out at 124. I'll take that one off. Nice. For all that deliciousness that it had it with it right on top. We will plate this up better when we get inside, but um, just wanted to show you that we are paying attention. This one needs a little more time and that one needs a little more time. So I'm gonna hold off on those. All right, time to plate. Cut through this. See how Chris did, Jeff did that cooking like it? It looked pretty tender, Nate. Yeah, it feels tender. Sharp knife. Yeah, oh, look at that. That's what I'm looking for. Oh yeah, that's mine. Whoops, sorry for that. Wow. Is that a squeal from our audio? <laughs> <laughs> that looks perfect. Get a little fresh it. parsley on there. Wow. All right, yeah. We gotta take some pictures of that. That looks beautiful. There you go. Mail, you can be proud of Very Chris. happy. Mail, you can be Done! Done. Mail is delish. <laughs> so much for teamwork. Yeah. All right. right, one, two, three. Done! <laughs> Looks beautiful. Can't wait to eat. Hold on, leave the it there. The steak's so hefty, it flattened out the potatoes. That's a nice color. You got that nice little juice coming off the sauce into the potato. Oh, let's dig in, guys. Let's, let's get this going. <laughs> I don't want to wait. It's nice and warm and hot. All right, let me cut up the rest of them. All right, so we are done. The boys have all had a chance to try it. I'm blown away. It's very good. And I'll tell you that the the beef is good, it's got that nice flavor, the mushrooms. Oh. Tastes a little bit of the brandy, love the onions with it, love the mushrooms. Nate's mashed potatoes are killer. He made them perfect, so much flavor. To now, me, now we know why. To me, I'm not gonna talk anymore, I'm just gonna keep eating. Let these guys say what they want. No, I really like, I love the uh, Dijon mustard comes through. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And this cut of beef, like I really like this cut of beef. Mm. You know, it's got a nice. It's a lot thicker flavor. than I thought it was. It didn't look like that. These are the thickest ones I've ever seen. Yeah. And they kind of puff up a little bit when you cook them, but. Uh, pretty tender, too. Yeah, it's a great cut. The delicious meal, Chris. Outstanding. Mm. The sauce. Love the came mushrooms, out. the sauce. Yeah, the sauce really worked out better than I thought. A little bit of work, really but good. worth it. A little messy on the griddle, but we got through it. Yeah. Jeff did a good job. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it is tough when you. I mean, you basically have cream and it's liquid and it's. Could never do. I don't think I could do that on a 36 inch. No, you could. Yeah. You have to build your dams, right? Mine, uh, mine leans towards the. I got mine leaning towards the front too, so mm. it works. But either way, yeah, it worked out. Excellent meal, definitely worth doing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Try it out. Thank you for joining us. Like, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Comments. Leave comments. comments. We love it. See you later. Cheers.